Hey, Rob here. This is part two of my live feed this morning. I was just up here recording a little video of the birds, and when I went back to the live feed, it was gone. So we'll start another live feed. It's beautiful out here, though. If you're just tuning in, this is Del Norwegans Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. Looks like our friend Kelly is just heading out on her paddleboard up here. We had a neat, nice beach walk, part one, earlier this morning. This found a couple nice shells. We saw a dolphin. Well, I saw a dolphin. It was pretty hard to see in the video. We got to see our friend, Fisherman Mike. He was telling us how yesterday morning he just saw schools of fish, schools of all different types of fish swimming just offshore, including snook. Drum, sheep's head, snook. So things are definitely turning around for us here in North Naples. And that's our friend Kelly here, just getting ready to head out on a paddle board with one of her friends. So you can see people are back out, starting to enjoy the water again. No pressure. <laughs> First time, obviously. First time. Yep. Oh, no. I've never done that myself. You want to try it next, Rob? Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll run the video camera. Well, there you go. Well, she's doing great so far. I hope you don't see anything. You're doing great. You're doing great. Awesome job. First time paddle boarder out there. Of course, she has no idea where she's going. <laughs> that is awesome. It's just so nice to be able to come out here and do that. Last week, you wouldn't want to be out in that water. Well, she's getting the hang of it now. She is moving along. Now we need to see a dolphin come up next to her. Oh yeah, come on, a dolphin. Awesome job. Now you can show all your friends. <laughs> Oh yeah. Got it. All right. Hey, you're doing fantastic. That is awesome. <laughs> Did you see the dolphins playing? Yeah, wasn't that something? I, I, thought, I tried to videotape it, but I missed it. They were pretty far out there. Well, oh, boy. Well, awesome job. <laughs> Gonna be in the hospital for any idea? I don't know. I'm stuck in the damn selfie mode here. Damn phone. <laughs> I can't see in the glare. And I accidentally hit a button. Hang on, folks. I can't I can't see out here in the sun. I need to get this off the screen. Sorry folks. There's a little button or something to get this stuff off. Ah did it to me yesterday 
Where is it? Do you see something there that looks like a little... I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see anything. Ah, everybody's having a look at me. They're killing them. Where the heck is that? Maybe if I pop back in. Nope. Oh, this stinks. Well, I'll have to let him look over my shoulder. <laughs> look over my shoulder while I get up into the shade. <laughs> and get out of the selfie mode. Oh, I hate when this happens. This happened to me yesterday. Hang on one second. It will not get these buttons off the screen so I can get out of the selfie mode. <laughs> How funny. Look at that sky behind me though. I can't. The screen is not responding to my touch. How embarrassing. Live video. I got all these stupid emojis up on the screen. There it goes. Now all I got to do is flip it around. Uh, that's, that happened to me yesterday. Well, that was fun. That was <laughs> one of our friends Kelly's friend paddle boarding for the first time. We just happened to catch that as we were walking by. She did a wonderful job. Wonderful job. Beautiful Tuesday morning here. Just incredible. Well, when we first when we first came out here, this is the second part of our beach walk video. When we first came out this morning, we were standing out on a little sandbar out here. It's gone now. The tide's coming in. That's where we found some nice little apple murex shells out there. We found some nice little shells this morning. Here's a nice little fighting conch down here, a Florida fighting conch on the beach. Beautiful little fighting conch. An empty one, but still beautiful. We always take, make sure they're empty. Don't want to take anything home with a live conch in it, but I'd sure like to <clears throat> see some live ones here on the beach instead of empty shells. These are beautiful shells to collect though. There's a little beautiful little cockle shell. Some pretty nice, pretty nice little shells this morning. So be sure to watch the first part of this morning's beach walk. <clears throat> Got to talk to Fisherman Mike. That was fun. I believe I'm pretty sure he's moved out of here by now. I don't think he's hanging out. Pretty late for him. He can't be fishing down in this end of the park after 8 o'clock anyway. So he might have moved up to Wiggins Pass. There's definitely people out in the water. People are starting to go back out and enjoy the water. Just play it safe. Make sure you shower off if you go swimming. I see a green shirt down there. Is that Mike? He's still down here. It's really hard to walk in the sand up on the beach. It's really, really soft. You sink way down in. It's 
Sadly, early this morning, we saw another dead grouper floating offshore. They're coming in from out in the Gulf. The red tide is still out offshore in the Gulf. We're not out of the woods yet, but at least it's not along our beach. Thank goodness. And our good friend Roy is out of the ICU. Awesome news. He moved into a regular hospital room, put into a regular bed. So that is fantastic news there. He's still got some recovering to do. But if you want to send our friend Roy a card, a get well card, you can send it to his home address, which you'll have to put an osprey just flying by me. Go through some of my posts. Look for the post of a seashell a few days ago. Look for the cockle shell hanging on the tree and you'll find Roy's address there where he can send some cards. Um, Osprey just got himself a fish up here. It's just up in the trees up here. Just dove down, got a fish. A little too far for me to zoom in. I see Mike still here in his green shirt up here, checking out the Osprey. I cannot see the osprey up there. He's really hidden up in the trees. He caught a fish. Yeah, I saw him fly up there, but now he's hard to see. The eyeballs first. There he is. What a boy, what a beautiful bird. Let's see if I can zoom in here for everybody. Beautiful colors right now. He just caught a fish, that osprey. Having himself some breakfast. How did you do fishing, Mike? Uh, we put we got like four fish, not much, many at all. We got a red fish. Yeah, caught a red fish. You caught a red fish. Yeah, oh, we that's had to good. Go down into the sand, and then they came back to this area. I went snorkeling and they were all gone. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know what's making them move in and out. What is it? Everybody's getting a great look at an osprey right now. The light's nice on them. Him or her. What do you think he's eating? That's a mangrove snapper. A little mangrove snapper. Yeah. Oh, you've got that whole gill plate on. Yeah. He's going to town. That's the gill plate. Doesn't, it doesn't take him long. <laughs> wow. What a great look at an osprey. I'm doing the best I can holding this steady. I'm zoomed all the way in. And this is just an iPhone, folks. That's one of the best looks at an osprey we've had during a live feed since I've been coming out here. Magnificent birds. I 
I have to try to get a picture of that. Hang on. Cleaning the fisher and I'll take some picture for you. It's pretty impressive how many fish are down there. Really? Yeah. We gotta do that. Mike was just telling me about he'll take my GoPro and when he's snorkeling get some pictures of all the fish out here underwater. But we're watching this osprey eat his breakfast. I'm doing the best I can to hold this steady. Beautiful, beautiful bird. But, but the snook was small. Yeah, I was seeing. Yeah, I it, 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 yeah. But most of them will be about that size and then you get that big one from Whoa. And underwater you go, whoa. <laughs> well, you could watch them all morning. Well, and then the. the, the but he's up there in the tree enjoying his fish. Well, that was quite a sight watching that bird. Oh yeah, that's pretty neat, huh? Yeah, yeah. Great fishermen. It's amazing how they spot them, huh? Oh. From, and sometimes way out there. I'm wondering when he's going to discard the, the. When he's had enough? Yeah. Yeah, just drop he it. He's going to leave just the tail. I, I guess they can be a little picky. Yeah. He's still and, up there. And you know the when they're uh, picking a mate, the female is picking a mate. The male brings her three fish, and she throws the first three away. Really? Yep. To make sure he's a provider. Huh? That so sounds you think, like a woman. You think we got we got it <laughs> right? <tough>, huh? <laughs> that sounds like uh, a typical yeah. woman. <laughs> we don't have it tough. Wow! What a beautiful bird. Yeah. Yeah, this morning when I came here, he would just scream it. It's like, geez, picking at the tree. Is that the is that that grouper over there? Yeah, he went, went all the way back out. Wow. Oh, that's not it over there. That's a stick. Where? That's a branch. Oh yeah, out. yeah, that's a tree. Yeah, he yeah, he, he went way back out again now. Wow. Way out there you can see. Wow. It's incredible that he's not even pay attention to us. Yep. Nope, he's hungry. Yeah. They probably they probably been having a hard time catching fish here, you know. I well, mean everything's hungry. The exactly. raccoons, the birds. Yeah. I mean And then this morning the dolphins. There was no fish in here. None. None. I mean, and we had to go down where those kids are. Uh huh. more in the sand and they just started to appear. Sheep had they'd come in big schools. Really? Yep. Well that is a wonderful sign that they're back. And so then I came down here and the snook were coming in and I was seeing groups of, like a dozen in a in a, a group. Wow. And went back out and there's nothing out there anymore. Really? Yep. It has disappeared. Huh. Oh well. They're back though. They're coming back. Oh yeah, exactly. I wonder there's some people up at the pass. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see if they, they I didn't see anybody catch anything while I was there, but they're yeah. starting to show back up at the pass, so. Well, you can breathe it. That's, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Yeah. And, and there's no barge here yeah. either. Well, and the water is so clear now, too. Yep. What a and, difference. Uh, the fry have hatched. Right. There are some areas, there are billy, the water gets cloudy because there's so many little fry. Really? Yeah. So really? that means the bait fish will be, in a week or so, you'll start get, having. Well, there you go. Uh, bait fish that you, can, that, you can, that you can use. Yeah. Awesome. So, I mean, it's recovering. Yep, definitely. I mean, you can see that just by looking, unless you're blind. Yeah, because <laughs> this is all trees right here. Yeah, that's trees. Yep. Yep. And it's really slippery. Really? Yep. Look at this rotting. Yep. That's all old. See where the water gets dark right in front of my there. And there's there. so much sand pushed in here. Before when I uh, swam here. Uh -huh. It, it was like that deep. The tree root would be like this. Really? And then the sand, it, it's kind of like looking at that uh, root right there. It, it was the same way. Well, it pushed so much sand in, now it's all level. I'll show you what he was talking, what he was referring to. It's, see how you can see the roots of that tree exposed? That's exactly how it was underwater. Wow. And this is area... Three. We're in three here, area three. Yep, at the... Uh, yep. Uh, almost far... But Right, we're actually right about in the middle, middle yeah. of three. Yeah, right in the middle of three. Well, that'd be fun to see out there. I'll keep, 
Yeah. I'll throw my GoPro in my pocket. Yeah. What do you got? Regular one of those little mounts he yeah. goes on your, yeah, but on it, your mask? It's better to use that because something that you can hold out to look at the fish. Because my head's back here and, and I can, uh, uh, you know. Oh, I got you. You know, otherwise it's just. I don't have a stick. You got one of those no, underwater no, sticks? No, I, I don't have, have one a GoPro, of them. But, uh, ah. Marcus had one. Uh, yeah, that's what you need. Yeah. Yep. You have to be able to. Hold it out in front of you, yeah. head of where you're going. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, I'll get one of those and bring that. Keep yeah. it, keep it in my pocket. Because People... when they're in here, like yesterday afternoon, uh -huh. it was unbelievable. You didn't need anything. You could just stand here and watch school after school of big sheephead go by. Wow. You could walk out and actually the snook would be right there. Really? Yeah. They would. So it's just a. Uh, Amazing how it, they change from one area to the next. Yep. Because, like now, where they were is just from no, where those kids are. Mm -hmm. uh, towards us. He's talking about just up the beach, but of course you gotta get here early to be fishing out here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you gotta fit. You know. Yeah. You gotta quit by eight o'clock. Yeah. You got. You can't fish past eight. And you, to do that, you have to have a an annual pass to get in here. Exactly. So there you go. Another reason to buy a pass. Yes. <laughs> awesome. But, not guaranteed you're gonna catch fish. Right. Oh, come on, Mike. I thought you just guaranteed it. I thought you were guaranteeing a catch. Oh. I, I've never seen so many snook, and we, we never even hooked them. Wow. They're smart. Yeah. Is it snook but season, though? It's not, no. they're not in season, though, no. The thing, like, uh, uh, Paul, for the first, he got, he got the snorkel for the first time, and how they, hey, you don't bother them at all when you snorkel. Really? Nope. They, yeah, just... they don't get spooked at all. Really? They'll come. They'll come close to you. Yeah, oh, you or just, let you, you swim, swim right, right by them. The top of them. It's, really? It's like oh, that'd be an fish. awesome video. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like you're a fish. They don't mind. Really? Yeah. I guess. More you're more on their turf. I mean, they could. <laughs> yeah. What's your, what's your shadow? shadow than yeah. they are of oh, that's being in the yeah. Water yeah. With them. Wow, that's interesting. That is really cool. I gotta get running. I'm really late here. But thanks. Thanks for the fishing report, Mike. If you see Roy today. Mary and I, I will give them. Make it up there some, maybe even wait till the weekend. Let it, you know, or see what happens. But, okay, awesome. I'll give them your best yeah, here, for them, sure. We th we, yeah, we th think about them. Let people know about them all the time. So. Yep. Uh, I will. Um, I will. Uh, send you his room, his information. You call him on the phone. He's got a phone oh, okay. now in the all room. Right. Sweet. So I'll send that Perfect. to you in a message. Perfect. All right. Be, that'll be great. Because, all right. Uh, we think, and I got him a, a a new shirt for the beach. Oh. And you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. But uh, he needs some boots. It, it has to be presented to him. So I'll wait until he gets All right. back to the beach. All right. We do that on Facebook. Yeah. Yep. He, uh, he needs some beach boots. Is what he needs now too. Something he can wear in the water. That. Yeah. To he, protect he, his feet. I don't ever go bare. Yeah. He yeah. needs those w water shoes. Yep. That he can just slip on and. Yep. You know. Yeah. Um, Something that he can keep on. Yeah. No. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I always swim with shoes on. Yeah. There you go. You know. All right. All right. Well, Thanks, Mike. Run. You guys have a great day. Yep. yep. And is he still eating? Or? Yep. Oh, is he still up here? Yeah. Right directly up over head of us is that beautiful osprey still. Finishing off his breakfast. Where is he? I can't see him here. Where we go? He's all right. Where is he? He's right up on that branch, right up there. Got some great video of him. You have to check that out later. It's hard to hold the camera steady. But we got a great look at an osprey this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. A gimbal, camera gimbal. The battery, I think, is starting to get weak because it's not holding steady here. Look at those clouds out there. Isn't that beautiful? Well, this is the second live feed I did this morning. So be sure to watch the first part of this morning's beach walk. Remember, I'll post everything on YouTube in a little better quality. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. Hit the like to share button. We're picking up 
new followers every day here. It's wonderful. Great friends. I've made some great friendships through these live feeds. Give you one more quick look around. Beautiful water. People starting to come back and enjoying the beach, actually out there swimming. Hallelujah. Well, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Tuesday, wherever you might be. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.